He's disruptive off the edge. He's got a hunger, a thirst for quarterbacks. Keon Keeley is coming in to push to play immediately. What's up? It's Kyle Henderson, a Bama football on YouTube. Hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be talking about the summer enrollees, and we start with Keon Keeley, six foot five, two hundred and forty five pound edge rusher that is coming to Alabama. And as I already stated, he's coming to push for not only playing time, but I think for a starting position. Keon Keeley, by the way, will wear number thirty one, the same number as William Anderson, who just went off the board number three to the Houston Texans. I think what makes Keeley so dynamic is that he's so athletic. He flies off the edge. He disrupts the pocket. He's going to be very hot to handle even for college tackles because of his athletic ability. He does a great job leveraging his very lean upper body. I mean, he's 240, but he looks 220. He's got speed to burn on the outside. He's got violent hands. He's got very good moves for his age, right? I think when we talk about... Um, moves from your outside linebackers. What type of spin move do you have? How can you get off these tackles with long wingspans? And Keon Keeley displayed that over the course of his career at the high school level. Now, when you look to Alabama's current projection of starters, now this is from rlads.com, you have Chris Broswell and Dallas Turner as the edge rushers. Now, you also have Q Robinson and Keanu Coat as that two deep. I think Keon Keeley comes in and he pushes Broswell and Q Robinson for playing time. Honestly, I think he is going to be that good. And there's nothing wrong with having a freshman that is going to come in and try to make some noise. I was talking about that Tony Brown video the other day, the fact that he's ready to go. And it's amazing to think that Alabama theoretically could have had three freshman starters, right? Caleb Downs, Tony Mitchell, and even Keon Keeley. Now, in time, I think Keeley is certainly going to see the field. I know we put these high expectations on all these freshmen, and rightfully so. But if you've watched Keon Keeley's tape and you know Alabama's roster, I think Keon Keeley, it's up to him for playing time. And if he can prove himself and if he can get to the quarterback, put him on the field. And I know Nick Saban will put the best on the field under new defensive coordinator Kevin Still. Sound off in the comment box. What do you think about Keon Keeley? Hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.